Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about CoviFind, CoviFind Rapid Antigen Test Kit by Merrill Life Sciences. So this CoviFind Test Kit is compact, easy and uh, it gives result in 15 minutes. So what is CoviFind Test Kit, how CoviFind Test Kit works and the app CoviFind, how it works, what to do, how to register in CoviFind app and how to generate your COVID-19 test report with the help of CoviFind test kit. It's all about this. So let's see this video to understand that. We'll talk about the positive side and negative side of CoviFind. Okay, now we are going to use uh, the CoviFind test kit. You can see this is the test kit CoviFind uh, by Merrill Life Sciences. Uh, it uh, is 250 rupees, again the same price as uh, Covi Shelf by MyLab. The same thing. Uh, it is also an, another app based te test kit. It also has its own app in Google Play Store as well as in the App Store. So let's see what uh, these are the components of the kit that is listed in the box. It is also it comes with a, a cardboard box that is a better option I believe than a plastic one. So let's see uh, what's inside and we'll also see how to test. And it also has the similar things 15 minutes uh, time and everything. So let's download the app and also I'll download the app. I, I'm not going to show you how to download it on all, but let's see. Uh, let's download the app and register yourself there. Okay, so these are the components and uh, from the box. I just uh, unpacked them and this is the actual cassette. Remember, I scanned it earlier. Uh, this QR is very important to scan so that you can generate a report. And here we have uh, we have this uh, we have this. Uh, nasal swab the size of the swab is little smaller than kovi shelf i think that's better so that we can put it inside the disposal bag this is the disposal bag uh, and yes this time the disposal bag is really big so that it can accommodate everything and this is the buffer solution pack uh, okay so everything is straightforward exactly what we found in the kovi shelf so now let's do the process and let's see the result Okay, so I'll be now finding out Covi Find. I already had this app downloaded uh, earlier, but I think okay. Let's download this app right now. You can see it's uh, 500 plus downloads. Let's download this app. And there is also QR code in this uh, test kit box that you can scan to download. But uh, you simply type in Covi Find. And you'll get to know about the app here. It may take some time depending upon your internet connection in order to download it. And by this time of downloading, let me open the box. Let's see. Go inside. This is the app. Choose whatever language you are okay with. Then log in to put your phone number in there okay let's put it there it will I think uh, it's it will be OTP based login So it's downloaded now and uh, you need to click, click allow. So once uh, I'm logged in, uh, then I just need to just see, see the take a test. Get started. It says your name. You can add members. Let's select myself. And have you taken the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes. What vaccine you take? Uh, sorry, COVID shield I took. Partial dose. Yes. The date. They are asking for the date. I think I took it on July 20th. I don't exactly recall, but let's put a approximate date in here. Do you have any symptoms? No. Okay, go to the next. Okay. Scan the QR code on the test device. Okay. So it's out now. And now I'll scan it. Okay. The QR is scanned. Now there are two tests, uh, one is the guided test, a simple step by step video guide uh, that will tell you how to do the test, that's very good. And they also provided us a instruction kit, but I think the video guide will help more. Apart from that, there is a quick test, a rapid way to check your test result within a 15 minute timer that must be used once you are done swabbing. Okay, so once after swabbing, this test needs to be 
done so what i will do that is that i'll swab now i'll take a swab and take the sample nasal sample and then put it there and then i'll turn on the timer okay okay so so now we are going to open up the swab here okay this is the nasal swab just open it up and make sure that you open it up from the other side not from this never touch it from this brush side okay and now the process of taking your nasal component so let me put it down okay again a uh, simple process is that you put it inside uh, in a slant of angle and rotate this swab for a while okay three four times and then also insert it to the other uh, side and also do the same thing to get enough amount okay it may give you a sneezing <coughs> it may give you a sneezing effect that's fine not an issue and now we have this buffer solution we need to put it inside the buffer now like this and we'll mix it vigorously we'll mix it vigorously uh, until it gets very clear mixture normally it says 10 times 8 to 10 times mixing mixing is done mixing is done and you need to throw all these things inside the packet and out and then take this cap and put the cap on the top like this don't touch the tip of the cap okay that's done and now we are going to put two drops in into this cassette okay so like every time we have this cassette in our hand right this one and with what we need we need this buffer solution and this nasal swab that's it so let's uh, open them up you can simply tear it with your hand you don't need anything else okay so here we have and we are going to put the drops two drops uh, enough drop one drop two that's done that's kind of it Uh, one more difference i can see with this covi find with the covi shelf is that they give more buffer they give more buffer this one uh, covi find they they gave more buffer so if you waste some one or two drops you can still use it for second time okay so now you simply need to wait for 15 minutes turn on the countdown timer in the app and wait for 15 minutes uh, to get the report to get the result and remember there are two things in here one is c one is t let me simply show you in this side c for control t for test okay if there is only one band at c that is that means you're negative for the covid-19 antigen if there is two band one in c one at t that means you're positive for covid-19 antigen and if there is no band at c whatever that means the test kit is damaged and it's not working okay that's the simple funda now let's move to the app and let's see at the end how to generate the report i took the swab and all is everything is done i'll now turn on this timer the timer will start start timer that's it the timer will continue at its own pace obviously i'm not going to uh, hold it for 15 minutes i'll stop the video now and after the end of the timer i'll show you the results the process is running and it's uh, almost like 6 uh, 7 minutes and you can clearly see that there is one distinct band at c that is in control but there is no band at t so the report is negative the covid antigen report is negative there is no positive report at this point but again as per the rule as per the instruction manual you can see this is the instruction manual provided a pretty big and thick instruction manual with a lot of pictorial representations are properly guided so that anyone uh, simply anyone can see and do the process but as per this uh, manual you need to wait for 15 minutes so we'll wait for 15 minutes and obviously the timer is going on inside the app covi find app so once the timer goes off then we'll check the result then we'll see the result and then only we can generate the report so you cannot generate a report before 15 minutes okay so now we are almost at the end of our detection with covi find 2 1 and 0 the timer is over and now you need to take a photo of the kit and this is really important because otherwise anyone can say that i am negative and i'm positive so you need to put the cassette as per shown in this picture and 
for accurate results you need to place your cassette against a dark background uh, or non reflective surface if possible so let's click take photos and here you can see here we have okay flash is on click take photo already photo is already taken you see after you took the photo it says negative on the top that means you are negative okay if you see a very faint band at t click here in this case no there is no faint band at t so that's it then simply click show report no symptom it will show report that is negative okay that's the report negative okay so this is how you get to know about it and you can share this report simply click on the share button and it will open up uh, places where you can share this report okay uh, it will go something like this a picture of this so this is the maximum page that uh, you can get from here okay maximum page where is a picture of uh, your cassette showing your mobile number whether you're vaccinated or not and everything and that's it a positive result should be considered as a true positive and does not need confirmation or reconfirmation by rt pcr test and that's true that's what we do so go to the home page and you can see the your recent test report if you go back you can always see your recent test report with the kit image but one thing it lacks is uh, the way the covi shelf generated the pdf file of the report is very important i believe other than that what you need to do is simply need to take a print out of this page or you can keep this in your mobile phone so that so that you can show this uh, to the person to the concerned authority who wanted to see the test report by clicking on this test report and i i like the disposable bag because this disposable bag is black in color while in covi shelf one is transparent so this is good and it's a big bag everything can be accommodated inside of it so let's put everything inside and we can throw it out properly by putting it back here and throw it out and dispose it uh, properly all right so we have tested ourselves with uh, covi find by merrill life sciences and uh, we found out that the test is really good accurate easy to do and although they say this for 15 minutes you can simply see the result within 2 to 3 minutes but yes obviously wait for 15 minutes now it is app based uh, and the report will be generated inside of the app like an image you can show that image you can share that to the other person and you can also always go back to the history and can check the history of the previous reports and you can showcase the previous history reports as well but one thing lacking about this is that there is no pdf report generated with the help of this merrill life science kit which we found in case of covi shelf kit which comes handy if you print it out and show it to other people but with mobile device both will work equally fine and the good thing about this is that this big disposable bag the big dispose bag and this this bag is enough good enough to throw everything is out and it's not transparent that's another good sign so that's all about covi find test kit by merrill if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel uh, to know more about life sciences thank you